In total, the Mitsubishi Pajaro Sport sold 8,299 units from January to June 2021. This figure makes the Pajaro Sport proven to be more saleable than its closest rival, the Toyota Fortuner, which only sold 7,787 units during the first semester of 2021. Even though this Carawang assembled SUV also received a display refresh at the end of 2020 plus received an injection of 100% PPNBM discount incentives from the government, it seems that the attractiveness of the new exterior design and various offers of advanced features make this Mitsubishi Pajaro Sport coveted by many consumers. If Mitsubishi in Indonesia confidently distributes many units of this SUV to dealers and makes its car one of the best selling in Indonesia. The most significant change in appearance comes from the front which now uses Mitsubishi's typical dynamic shield fascia. Previously, the same fascia was used for the first time on the Mitsubishi Expander which was then also applied to the Mitsubishi Triton and Eclipse Cross. What distinguishes it from the Expander is the position of the main light on the Pajaro Sport which remains at the top with an LED projector, while at the bottom there are three lights arranged vertically, namely the turn signal, LED cornering lamp and fog lamp which also uses LEDs. The most visible is the use of a new head unit with an 8-inch touchscreen that has the smartphone link display audio feature that can connect the head unit to a cell phone via Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Besides that, behind the steering wheel, precisely on the instrument panel, it now uses an LCD meter cluster measuring 8 inches as well which can display a variety of information more interactively. What's interesting is that the main screen display of the instrument panel has several options that can be adjusted to the tastes of the driver. This makes sitting behind the wheel of the Pajaro Sport even more enjoyable, especially since the seating position provides excellent visibility with electrically easy seat settings. The steering wheel is covered with leather material with multi-function buttons complete on the crossbar, among others, for setting the instrument panel and information screen, audio system, adaptive cruises control and communication. Behind the steering wheel there is also a large and unique paddle shift lever that is separated from the steering wheel so that it makes the driving feel even more sporty. In the center console at the bottom of the head unit screen there is a button for setting the cabin conditioning aka AC. The use of two rotary buttons to adjust the temperature, I admit, is quite ergonomic, however for other settings such as the level of wind gusts and Mitsubishi uses the push button. At the bottom there are several slots for connectivity, namely an HDMI port, two USB ports to connect with your device and a 12-volt power source port. The transmission lever still looks conventional but has a unique shape that is pleasant to grip. Furthermore, at the bottom there is a rotary knob as a transfer case controller for Mitsubishi's signature Super Select 4WD wheel drive system. This feature has 4WD functions starting from 2 high, 4 high, 4 high lock, and 4 low lock which will help the driver in off-road terrain. At the top of this rotary button there is also a hill descent button in off-road mode. The ability to adjust the back of the second row of seats also makes it easier for passengers to get the most comfortable sitting position, especially for long trips. In the second row of seats, passengers also get access to a USB slot to charge your smartphone and dance K. There is a power outlet with 150W power and AC 220V voltage which allows you to easily recharge your larger electronic equipment such as laptops. When it comes to carrying things, the Mitsubishi Pajaro Sports luggage space is indeed quite spacious if you only bring a small suitcase or backpack and keep the third row seat upright. However, if you fold the third row of seats, the luggage capacity of the Pajaro Sport does increase significantly. Even if you only want to carry goods, the second row of seats can also be folded to add a wider luggage capacity. The Mitsubishi Pajaro Sport has also got a new feature to access the trunk, namely the automatic tailgate feature with a kick sensor plus.